Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm covering War 5 of Season 51, and today I forgot who we're against. Who are we against? I've completely forgot who we're against. We're against Palo. That's the one. Now, my first fight is this Zemo on Path 9 with Maestro. This placement scared the living crap out of me because I really overestimated how much damage those Furies would do through the glancing. Because every time that I get a Hazard Shift debuff on myself, I will give Zemo a Fury buff. Now, I have a Disorient on me, and I'm about to have two Disorients on me, if not three. And he's not throwing a special. Go for medium, medium again. He has five Furies. And is he going to throw it? Is he going to throw a special? Nope. But five Furies and two Disorients, that only did 5k on my block. Now, I was expecting that, even if it crit, which it couldn't because I'm glancing, I was expecting that to be a lot more. And yeah, because he's being so goddamn stingy with the specials, I just decided to make a special two instead. And combo into relic, into another combo, into special one, finish him off. That one was simple enough. And then I was path splitting with Infamous. You took that weapon X with Nimrod. As soon as it's cleared, moving up to my section two. Which is path three. So I have this future Ant-Man on the bleed node with Maestro. A lot of people might ask, oh, why aren't you using Terex for this? We've sent that once and it's not very good. Terex does not work very well for this fight, even with the bleed immunity. More just so not countering future Ant-Man's kit very well. So the plan here was wait out until I get 20 charges. That way I get a pierce, and if I have a pierce on me, then future Ant-Man cannot gain any armor or buffs. So I'm only five charges away, just doing some close parries in the corner, and they're on point. And I forgot to build clarity. So I heavy attack in the corner. Now, so I was so focused there on gaining my pierce that I just completely forgot that clarity existed. It's up now, it's not an issue. And the fight is pretty much over. So I'm going to block this special two because there's absolutely no reason for me to dex anything other than the last hit. If I do get hit by that, it probably does a lot of damage and potentially nearly kills me. Or potentially even does kill me. So, I really just don't want to get hit by that. It's what, a couple of potions? I don't, I, that might have even been my last Maestro fight. Yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll speed this up. But I'm putting recoils on for this next fight because it's a fight I'm unfamiliar with. And... Yeah. I just want it to be extra safe, honestly. So it is this Red Skull on the Shock Node. Now, Terax can definitely do this without. The video I've seen is of a rank 3 with a couple of charges built up. And I forgot to power start one. I was meant to power start one for this so that I get a longer rock field. But I didn't. Because I'm an idiot. I just forgot to grave boost. Anyway... It's not an issue. Clarity means that I can hit into his auto block. And as soon as I throw my next special one, I'm just going to try and keep his armors under control and as close to zero as possible. So I'm going to bait out the special one. I'm going to do a couple of lights and that pushes him just over the bar. And now I'm going to bait this out. Gonna hit him once while I've still got clarity. Throw my special one, that gets me clarity back. And then I'm just playing it slow. So, I'm just gonna make sure I keep my armor breaks up. It doesn't matter if Rockfield expires, my arm, I have 10 armor breaks now. 
and I'm hitting quite hard, even without Rockfield. I can block the last two, three hits of this special too, because there's no reason for me not to. Not at any risk of dying here. And yeah, 24k mediums, not mediums, 24k lights, it's even better. And he's down. And that was my only Terex fight, so I'm going to come back, switch back to my first mastery tree. This new system is incredible, I love it. And next up I have a hazard shift mini boss. And it is the scorpion with Maestro. Now, if I die to this, I'm retiring from the game. Yeah, I said it there. Because there is absolutely zero chance that Scorpion picks up a kill against Maestro on this node unless I try to get killed. I'm poison immune, I'm incinerate immune. Scorpion will have to hit me hundreds of times or with multiple special twos and special threes. Now I'm just going to take it slow and steady off the start to get clarity up. Just one hit back off just in case he auto blocks or evades it. But it's up now. There's nothing for me to worry about. Special 2 and Furies are up. Start hitting quite hard now. I'm gonna go Relic into Special 1. And this should get very close to killing. Yeah, this leaves him on 1%. I'm gonna try and bait out the special or bait out heavy or something, but he just dashes back holds block, and because I know I've had the pierce, I can go in, hit him once, and then he'll be dead. I use a couple of energy refills just because I had to open up this kindred for one of our members that was on holiday. And I'm taking this onslaught with Shocker. I'm going to power start one. Again, I mentioned it in the last war and I didn't fully explain it. The reason sometimes I don't like power start ones with Shocker versus onslaught is that without. I feel like the combo hits and the charges you gain from those are enough to not make it overkill with special one, special two. So I did it, well, power start one with a prowess node, that was fine. With this node, I feel like I need two special ones and that's gonna be massive overkill. But if I didn't power start one, I might have only needed the one special one in special two because that probably gives me about 60 charges and the extra combo hits on top of that. And yeah, anyway, I'm at 73 charges now, as long as I actually get up to special two, this should be fine. So I'm going to intercept. And 82 charges, 61%. This easily kills. And that's my war. And we did end up winning. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.